Let's go! Little Red Tractor, he's king of the fields. Getting his jobs done with Stan at the wheel. He's not the biggest, but he's a hero. Little Red Tractor, let's go! With Sparky and Nipper and Big Blue too, and lots more friends in tow. Little Red Tractor, let's go! Go, girls. Okay, little red tractor. We better go and pick up the pig food from the farm. Uh-oh. Someone forgot to check your fuel level this morning. Do you think you have enough to make it down to the garage? Good. Marvelous. This'll keep you out, or my name's not Jesper Jones. Uncle Jasper! I'm back here, Thomas. You're just in time to see what a clever uncle you have. Your computer's broken again. What? I've only just had extra things put in it like you told me to. Extra RAM! But it's not that. There's no power. Well, never mind the computer. If you want to see power, take a look at that. At what? At that! It's a fence. Not just any fence. It's electric. But why do you need an electric fence? You don't have any animals. Ah, but electric fences don't just keep animals in. They keep ramblers out. <laughs> no more shortcuts across any of my fields. Oh, no. Any rambler who clambers over this little beauty is in for a bit of a shock. No! I mean, um, no. Electricity is very dangerous. And what's more, it's invisible, which makes it doubly dangerous. Oh, anyway, time to get you home. Great! What is going on? You were working a minute ago. Don't worry, Sparky, my son. I'll get you out of there as soon as I can. Hold up. The lights have gone off. Ah. Oh. It must be a power cut. Hello, you two. Oh, I'm glad you're open, Walter. Little Red Tractor is in desperate need for a tank load of fuel. Sorry, guys, you're out of luck. Looks like we've just had a power cut, and these modern pumps need electricity to work. Well, I just hope we have enough fuel to get us home. Hey, as soon as the power's back, me and Sparky will drop round a can of diesel. Oh, thanks, Walter. It's a disaster, Premier. First time I've used it and all. Oh, I knew that newfangled microwave was a waste of money. Eh? Hey, but I bought you that. Shh! I'm on the phone. Sorry about that. So, anyway, the microwave just stopped. Well, it only stops when it's finished. I'm on the phone. Oh. Now, where was I? Oh, that's right, dear. Yes, the cake looks nothing like the picture in the cookbook. <laughs> oh, say it ain't so. Oh, you're so right. No power. Oh, yes. I've only just started oh, charging no. the battery, too. Yes, yes, yes. Nothing. OK. Bye-bye, Primula. All right, so what's wrong? There's a power cut. Everything stopped working, and Nipper's battery's flat, too. Oh, how am I going to get this corn to the bakery now? Do what you always do. Call Stan and Little Red Tractor. Hey, oh, this was fully charged earlier. Else, how long were you on the phone? About an hour. Maybe two. Oh. Well done for making it this far. <laughs> and I'm sorry, Little Red Tractor. I should have checked your fuel earlier. Well, I'd better go get our pigs fed. See you later. If you'd only spoken to Primula for an hour and a half, I wouldn't have to do this. It's not my fault there's a power cut. Oh, I know. Oh, why don't you pop into stands on the way home? He may be able to help you with the rest of the flower. Yeah, good idea, love. And I'll be back in a flash. Almost home, Big Blue. Why aren't the traffic lights working? How odd. Look out! No! What on earth was that fool doing in the middle of the road? Oh, I see. It looks like the traffic lights are out of action across the whole junction. Well, that's very dangerous. Ah, my fence! 
Oof. It's not broken. That was close. Now, I'd better get the garage to come and tow you out, Big Blue. Beach garage! Uh, oh, hello, Mr. Jones. Uh, oh, dear. I'm I, I, afraid I can't. There's been a power cut and Spark is stuck inside the garage. But what am I meant to do? Big Blue is stuck in a ditch. <laughs> do what everyone does when they're in trouble. Call Stan and Little Red Tractor. There you go, boys. Stan? Stumpy? What are you doing pushing a wheelbarrow around? I could ask you the same thing. What? Ah, oh, yes. This power cut has caused a bit of a problem. Hello? Mr Jones? Uh-huh. Where are you? Ah, yes. No problem. We'll be right there. Mr Jones? Still? But, um, where is Little Red Tractor? He's out of fuel, no thanks to this power cut. But we'll never get Big Blue out without him. Hmm. Well, what do you reckon, Stumpy? Shall we have a go? What? Oh, <laughs> I'm game. Do you have a rope, Mr Jones? Naturally. New fence? Ah, indeed it is. My brand new electric fence. Fitted it myself, don't you know? <laughs> and it's still working? Of course! Well, that's strange, isn't it? No one else has got any power. Even those traffic lights there aren't working. OK, Mr Jones. If you put Big Blue in reverse and try backing up the slope, Stumpy and me will give it the old heave-ho. No problem. Although I'm not sure the two of you are as strong as you think you are. Ready when you are. One, two, three... Heave! And... Heave! Stop! Stop! My new fence! Oh, sorry. We almost had it, too. Yeah, it... Here. Look, the traffic lights are working again. Never mind the lights. What about my fence? Um, Mr Jones? When exactly did you turn on this new fence of yours? Oh, I don't know. About an hour or so ago. That's about the same time everyone else lost their electricity. Huh? You... Oh, you don't think? Oh, no. You really shouldn't mess around with electricity. It's very dangerous. Yes, yes, I know. Well, there's nothing we can do here. Look, Stan, I, I know I've messed up, but... We can't let Big Blue spend the night in a ditch. But without fuel for Little Red Tractor, I don't know... Oh, I've got fuel. Is this enough? You know what? I think it might be. Oh, Little Red Tractor, am I pleased to see you. OK, Mr Jones, I need you to steer Big Blue. And you better throw the power cut-off switch first, just to be on the safe side. Right you are. And Stumpy, you better stand clear. No problem. Ready, Mr. Jones? Ready when you are. OK, little red tractor. Let's go. Go on. You can do it. Oh, no, we're almost out of fuel again. Come on, boy. One last effort. Well done, little red tractor. <laughs> I thought you'd be needing some of this. Thanks, Walter. You're just in time. The pumps are working again. The power came back just like that. Ah, I'm afraid I had something to do with that. And I really am very sorry. If there's anything I can do to make it up... Well, you can help me take me flare to the bakery. Gladly. Stan, is there anything I can do for you? No, I think we're fine. But I've learned a lesson, though. I really must take better care of you, little red tractor. Too right. Yeah. I'm not sure what any of us round here would do without the two of you. Yeah, yeah. 